It shouldn't be so sad to think about Carlos Correa's season because he was a monster on the field. After grounding into 30 double plays last year, Correa, he turned it around at the plate. He was healthy. He was on the field. He was that all-around superstar. We know he is as one of the best players, not only one of the best shortstops, but one of the best players in baseball. The guy worth the money. We saw that in the first 60-plus games of this season. On July 12, Correa, he was tied with his good buddy Francisco Lindor and Fangraphs wins above replacement. Some people think Lindor should win NL MVP. Not me. I don't. But some people do. Lindor with an amazing season. Correa was there stride for stride among shortstops at that time. Sixth in x but That's expected weighted on base average. That's predictive. There was nothing lucky about what Correa was doing. He was legitimately back to being one of the best players in the league. And then... This dreaded term, precautionary rest for plantar fasciitis, put him on the IL for two months. And in that time, the Twins initially were holding it together, but it was just too late. By the time he came back, it was too late. The Twins collapsed and missing their best player, their heart and soul this year was so detrimental. On one hand, it sucks, right? I think it was a big reason why the Twins didn't, miss, didn't make the playoffs. But on the other, he looks so good. And if you can get him back healthy, Correa... You know he is one of the best players in the game, and he showed us again, not only in the postseason last year, but this year as well. How do you assess Correa's season? Drop a comment.